Okay, let's review the example questions for isosceles triangles. Our example A says, which two angles are congruent? Now, because this is an isosceles triangle, which we know since these two sides here are marked as congruent, up here on the top and down here on the bottom right, if these two sides are congruent, then the angles that face those two sides are also congruent, which tells us that the angle down here at U is congruent to the angle over here on S based on our base angle theorem. So since it's an isosceles triangle, the two base angles are congruent, and that makes it pretty easy for us to, uh, to pick them out here. Okay, so example B. Example B says, if an isosceles triangle has base angles that measure 47 degrees, what is the measure of the vertex angle? Well, if you recall, all triangles, all triangles, have a total of 180 degrees on their interior angles. So if the two base angles are 47, then this triangle is 47 degrees plus 47 degrees plus some other number of degrees, in this case V, and that has to equal 180. So if we add these two together, we get 47 and 47 is 94. 94 plus V is 180. Subtract 94 from both sides, and the 94s go away, we get V equals 86 degrees. So that tells us that the vertex angle up here is 86 degrees. All right, and finally, example C. Example C says if an isosceles triangle has a vertex angle with a measure of 116 degrees, what's the measure of each base angle? Now again, specifically because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that these two sides are the same and that these two angles down here are the same. So what we have then is two measures of whatever B degrees is and one measure of the top angle. So our total of 180 degrees is going to be equal to 116 degrees plus 2 of whatever B is, because we have there, you know, both of those angles down here are each B, and we have two of those. So if we subtract 116 from both sides, then the 116 falls away, and we get 64 degrees is equal to two B angles. So then we need to divide both sides by two. And the two falls away. And we get 32 degrees is equal to B. So each of these angles down here end up being 32 degrees. And 32 plus 32 plus 116 is 180 total. So there we go.